Kaç? Say kardeş.
they go first from A or this what it was told near and dear favorite to Krishna that Jagannath day he heard and became attracted. Devdasi was singing in a forest in night and hearing it sweet this kirtan or Jagannath day opened his door though it seems that he is a tissue of wood but he came out and began to run very fast and were thrown in bushes so his tracks came in body and also his claws were broken and damaged and then he heard in the meantime, when he was running, oh, that Devadashi stopped her country. And he became mad. Anyhow, he returned back to his temple, closed the door, and in the morning, when Pujari came for Mangal Arati, he saw that why Jagannath so much scratches and <laughs> Then he called main priest and then king was called. Why? Who did? They became very anxious. They wanted to oh, arrest the culprit. <laughs> but who was the culprit? Himself, Jagannath was culprit. <laughs> Why he ran away after a lady? <laughs> but he was attracted by so. And then he gave drink to king, his men, servant, that oh she was singing very far away. And I could not change and at once I died. So Bush's thrones of oh, the scratch in my body. Then he announced that in night, one in front of Jagannath there, anyone can sing this thing. No. Not far away, here and there. <laughs> so everyone there, that not to see. <coughs> One Chaitanya Mahaprabhu too, he was going to Chatak Parvat. <coughs> A very mountain like sense, across the ocean, Indian ocean. And <coughs> Indian night, Animal was singing, and it, oh, it's a very beautiful tune and sweet tune. Mahaprabhu could not change. Who is singing? He they forget and began to run towards that sound. Gobind knew that oh, this song is coming from a lady, very young lady. So he was pursuing him, don't go. Don't go. Otherwise, you will give up your life to embrace a lady. When he was running Mahaprabhu and he was pursuing, but he could not run like a than Mahaprabhu. He was forced running. And then, oh, he loudly told, Oh Prabhu, what are you doing? Oh, this song is coming from a very beautiful young lady. You should not go and embrace. Hearing this, he began along. And he came in Shansi. He checked the people. Oh, Govinda, if you have not stopped me, then if I have touched that lady, even I would have given up my life forever, jumping in the ocean. So this song is so. That book is now I translate it in Hindi. So many good ways. And it is ready in Hindi. All over India, also our Indians, 
here and there. This book is so famous. And I think that very soon English edition will also come. Yes. So many books will be available. I'm working very hard. And my associates, so many, Krishna has given, Swami has given so many or learned and qualified Rashik Bhak to me. I'm very happy. He has their integrity and they are helping me. So, my Ujjwal Lilmani, a very good book. Bhaktir Shambhi Sindhu, this book, Bhaktir Bhagavatami Tap Sanatam Goswami, Guru of the Roop Even, very soon they will come. And wait, very soon. And then we will know what is Bhakti. Otherwise, no. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu distributed this book himself to us. Don't think that this book distributing is Arushat Sita. Don't, never, never. That's why Pyas Dev compiled this book, Srimad Bhagavatam, and he told Sukhdev Goswami to preach everywhere. Why Krishna promised in Gita? He had told that for this knowledge should be given to all. If there is no Gita book, how we can preach? So don't, don't think like this. So you should have a strong belief that if the motive is other to earn money and by that maintain me, then it is bonus. Arusiddha. But to please Guru Dev, to please Krishna, and for the benefit of all human beings, if any book is distributed for Guru Dev and Krishna, and for any past whole universe, then this is not all of Siddhartha. What to do this book distribution? Even a person is claiming the school of any devotee, it is much better than to chant and remember the Sarup Siddha Bhakti if that man is criticizing others. Then, you know, so many are Maya Bhadi, Sahajiya, they chant every time the Sarup Siddha Bhakti. But what? Through? They want to make same very, very what? Offensive, offensive. So you should be clear in your mind that the book is distributed for the human being. So please Guru Dev, if Guru Dev is telling that if you should wash this tool of any devotee, you should when and join the mud at once a very sincere devotee of Guru Dev who was serving him so much. Very good Madan player and songs, cooking, washing the clothes of Guru Dev. He was serving. But he became sick. And that time I personally told Guru Dev, Guru Dev was busy in serving that war. Even disciple. Very young days. I told that I want to help you that you should preach. I will look over this. My God brother. And I used to clean every day his blood coming from mouth. He is in union. He is stool even. And that is why Guru Maharaj was very, very pleased to me. And that is why I am coming here. Yeah. 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 Oh, he was glorifying me by all these things that you took your life in your hands and son. By this, you conquered Guru's heart. 
So, you should not be in any doubt. You should chant, remember, Nakar Sankirtan, Bhukti Shrikshan, and go through the book, what is the essence of that book, and try to follow sincerely. Then it will be not Arushita. Otherwise, it must be Arushita. Thank you. Shuddha Bhagavad. Shuddha Bhagavad. speak a few words on Bhajana Kriya. Bhajana Kriya is explained very beautifully in Sri Madhurya Kadamani by Srila Viswanath Chakrabarti Thakur, who himself is the re-manifestation of Srila Rupa Goswami, who as Srila Gurudev just explained, described all these things in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. In order to explain himself, he reappeared as Srila Viswanath Chakrabarti Thakur, and in Madhurya Kadamani he describes Bhajana Kriya. Some of the activities of Bhajana Kriya are, are, are delineated in that song that we just sang, Shuddhabhakata Charanarenu, that is, uh, serving a lotus feet of pure devotees, Honoring Ekadasi, Gurudev once gave a speech on this in Brisbane that Krishna is very worried, thinking these people in this world are so fallen, what can they do to serve me? So I myself will manifest as Ekadasi. As Radharani comes out of Krishna's left side, Ekadasi also comes from Krishna's body and is more important, Gurudev said, even then Janamastami, it's actually Krishna himself. Krishna has manifested as that titi. So observing the Kadasti, participating in kirtan, offering bhog and honoring prasadam, engaging in deity worship, these are some activities of Ajriya. Srila Viswanath Chakravarti Thakur explains that there are two kinds of Bhajana Kriya. One is anasthiti bhajana kriya, anasthiti bhakti. And that gives rise to, if performed sincerely, to nisthita bhakti. First comes anasthita bhakti, that is there's six kinds of unsteady service. But even this bhajana kriya, which is unsteady, it gradually eradicates the different kinds of kleshas. It gives rise to klesha agni, or destruction of the different miseries, like a vidya, ignorance of the self, confusing myself with my body, confusing illusion with reality, confusing false ego with the real ego, and uh, rab, great attachment to the material world, Dvesh, envy of others, Abhini Vesha, fear of death, being so attached to material enjoyment, thus always being afraid that death will come and destroy my enjoyment. So these kleshas are destroyed gradually by Bhajana Kriya. The six kinds of unsteady bhakti or Bhajana Kriya are first Utsaha Mai, that is, sometimes very enthusiastic, appearing enthusiastic, but this enthusiasm is based on not spiritual things. Like I'm first coming to school and the teacher says, oh, look at this book. A is for apple, B is for ball, C is for cat. Now here's a test. So I'm not knowing anything, just looking at pictures but I can see by the picture, this is A apple, B ball, C cat. The teacher says, you're such a wonderful student. Then gradually the subjects get more hard, and I have more difficulty, and the teacher twists my ears. 
When the teacher says, you're such a wonderful student, I'm so enthusiastic. But upon being chastised, my false ego tells me to say, I don't like this school, I don't want to go. So Utsaha is false enthusiasm based on false ego. Then, Gana Tarala. Sometimes my um, concentration or absorption in the name, in scriptures, is very great. It's very condensed. Gana, like a cloud. And sometimes it's Tarala, very diluted, because the subject matter may be hard, or my mind is very flickering. So sometimes condensed interest, and sometimes very diluted interest. And then, Vyuta Vikalpa, or fighting against sense gratification. I vow that I'm not going to take sweets, because it makes my mind uncontrolled. But then so many nice halava and other sweets come, and then I think, I'll start tomorrow. <laughs> so, fighting and not succeeding in the fight against sense gratification, although trying. And then, un unsteadiness of mind. That is, I will get married, I won't get married. I will get married, I won't get married. If I execute marriage life property, properly as a serious grihastha, I'll make advancement in Krishna consciousness by respecting my spouse as my spouse is a servant of Krishna, not for my enjoyment. So I'll assist them and we'll both advance in Krishna consciousness. And if I'm in the renounced order, practicing bhakti without any attachment, certainly I'll make advancement. But in this stage of indecisiveness, I can neither get the benefits of renounced life, nor can I get the benefits of serious Krihasta life. I go in my mind constantly. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is married, so I should also be married. But Sukadeva Goswami wasn't married, so I shouldn't be married either. But all the members of the Panchatapu were married, so I should be. But if I don't get married now, later on when I get old and I haven't gone through Varnashram properly, then I'll be attached to get married when I'm 60 or 70 years old. So maybe I should get married. In this way, being on the mental plane and not taking advantage of any ashram. And then, Taranga Rangani. Oh, inability to follow vows. Nenama Akshama. That is, one is fighting against sense gratification, and one is and not being successful, and one is inability to follow vows. That is, I'm chanting 16 rounds now, but Gurudev, my Gurudev told me to increase it to 32, and even 64. He told me that I'll really only make advancement when I can chant 64 rounds, and Krishna will only accept my offering if I'm chanting sincerely 64 rounds. So I'm taking a vow, I shall chant 64 rounds. Then headache comes, cold comes, weakness comes, I'll start tomorrow. So attempting to follow vows, but inability. Niyama Akshama. And then finally, Turangarangani. Riding on the waves of the material facilities that I've gotten by my impure execution of bhakti. That is bhakti uta. An artist that come by the imperfect execution of bhakti. I give a good class. Somebody gives me a hundred dollar donation and tells me what a great class I gave. So I think, yes, I did give a good class. I should figure out how I should use this money for myself. But actually, if it was a good class, all the credit goes to my Gurudev. As we pray to the previous Acharyas when we sing their songs, this is not my prayer, this is your prayer. You, you feel this prayer and you've realized it. For me it's ink on a page or simply words. Please make your prayer my prayer. Please make my heart one with your words. 
Similarly, the class that I may give is not my class. If anything is good about it, the knowledge is my Gurudev's knowledge. I have no knowledge, I'm simply repeating syllables. Gurudev explained there are three kinds of preachers. Those who simply repeat words, those who are in Radhanuga Oh, Bhagavad. please, come on subject. Okay. So, Taroka Rangani. Hearing I'm, from subject. Okay. I I'm, want that you should tell about bhajan kriya, not the fruit of bhajan. What you are telling, this is the fruit of nishtha or other things. Mm -hmm. Not bhajan kriya. Okay. So, please come on subject. Bhajan kriya means the activities of devotional service. There are nine processes of devotional service. Shravanam, Kirtanam, Smaranam, thinking about Krishna, hearing about Krishna, remembering about Krishna, serving his lotus feet, engaging in deity worship, carrying out the orders. All these activities are activities of bhajan, activities of bhakti. Attending Mangalartik in the morning is an activity of bhajana kriya. Waking up in the morning and first thing I do is I remember my Guru Parampara, Jai Sri Sri Guru Garanga, remembering the qualities of each of the personalities in that Guru Parampara and praying that whatever qualities he has, he'll give those qualities to me so I can execute my bhakti properly. Then attending Mangal Artik and praying that I can enter deeply into the meaning of Mangal Artik as described by Param Gurudev, the deep meanings of the awakening of Radha and Krishna. Chanting. Gurudev said, if you simply chant Hare Krishna, you'll be full of material desires. Doesn't seem to make any sense. But the meaning is, I must sing the bhajans, the songs. Because by singing the songs and praying to the personalities who wrote the songs, that my heart can become one with theirs, my desires change from matter to spirit. So that when I chant the Hare Krishna mantra, my desires are spiritual. And I start to think like Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur. Take away my envy. Um, let me desire to take birth in Vrishabhanapura. Uh, <coughs> so many spiritual desires come when I regularly sing these songs. And regularly hearing class. Gurudev is instructing everywhere he goes that whatever community is there locally, and I'm part of that community, I must attend the functions of that community. If it's not possible, then I must attend the functions on my own. I told him once, Gurudev, I have so much service for you, so my chanting and hearing becomes more sloppy because I'm so busy with my deadlines. So he said, no, you must be just like me. I'm so busy all day preaching and writing, but I always take time to chant and to weep. So you should also take that time. Thank you. Bhakti Shah Maharaj will speak on the point. subject of uh, Vajana Kriya. According to according to Srila Vishwanatha Chakrabarti Thakur, uh, the verses of Srila Bhagavatam the original I understand. Yeah, commentary. He has also come. This one I talked to but really coming from Mahaprabhu and Rupa Goswami. So you can you work on Rupa Goswami. I'm not prepared for that. Go on. 
in his Madhuriya Kadambini. He has described the verses of Srimad Bhagavatam, second, uh, canto, uh, second canto, second chapter, first canto. Srimadasa Kata Krishna Punyashravana Kirtana. That uh, there are three stages of Bhajana Kriya. First comes this Anishtata Bhajana Kriya described by Srimati Shamarani Didi the unsteadiness and all those features we heard about characterizing that unsteadiness. Then will come anarta nivriti. This stage means the cleansing of unwanted... I want that you should begin from anartha, there is and what is the <coughs> bhakti? Yes. He says that... Even anartha is there. And after that he says nishtha so, bhajanakri comes. No, I want from beginning. If a man is full of so many anarthas, Lacks and lacks and millions. <laughs> How should he do? <laughs> what is good for him to do? For him what bhakti kriya? Bhajan kriya. He better find a guru and take shelter of him. Kriya are you to say? Wrong. <laughs> if he's not unqualified for it, uh, anyone will need guru, but especially if someone is so unqualified, how they will know what to do? Or you should tell you what I'm sorry, I'm not quite sure I, I understand where you want this to go because uh, Bhajana, she covered the topic of Anishtita Bhajana Kriya. Oh, you Oh, so you should see. <laughs> oh, you. Boma Gyan at the Miran Jasya Gyan and Jena Shalakaya Jakshur and Vidyan Jena Tasmais me would have been a mom. So, what is Bhajana Kriya? Bhajana Kriya means activities of Bhajan. In the conditioned state, the conditioned living entity is covered by so many types of ignorance. There are so many types of anartas, and there are so many problems. Actually, to do bhajan properly, it is not possible for someone in the conditioned state. Therefore, the very first thing one must do, Adha Guru Padashraya. Oh, very good. From the beginning, one must take shelter. Padashraye. One must take shelter at the lotus feet of Sri Gurudev. And under the guidance of Sri Gurudev, only then one can begin the process of Bhajana Kriya. Bhajana Kriya begins at the time Diksha Kale. At the time one has received Diksha from a bona fide Guru. Nowadays, some people are saying, no need of Guru, we can accept any uh, great Acharya, Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj, or Srila Prabhupada, or um, we can accept any Vaishnava, no need that they are present before us. But no, according to Bhagavad Gita, Tadvidhi Pranipate Na, Hari Prashnena Sevaya Upadekshanti Te Gyanam Gyanena Stattva Darshanaha. How can we serve Sri Lurupa Goswami? How can we serve any Vaishnava who is not present before us? How can we fall at his feet? Oh, my Gurudev is here, I will fall at my feet. What does it mean, Pranipat? It means to offer Dandavat Pranam. Dandavat, Ashtanga Dandavat Pranam. It means to what? Offer my head, my body, mind, words, intelligence, everything I'm giving at the lotus feet of my Gurudev. And then Gurudev will engage the disciple in Bhajana Kriya. Now you should do something. So some persons, they came once to Srila Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj at Surya Kun, and he gave them some instruction. Oh, you should grow eggplant. And they were thinking, oh, what is this? We came here, we wanted to do some bhajan. And remember Ashtakali Alila, but he is instead engaging us in growing eggplant. Why? Because Gurudev knows the heart of the disciple. And Gurudev will take that disciple who may have so many anartas and who is in ignorance, unable to see the proper path, and will engage that disciple 
properly so that they can come into the path of bhajan. So there is some discussion also. What is Swarup Siddha Bhakti and other activities? How other activities which are not included even in the 64 items of bhakti, how they are also Swarup Siddha Bhakti. Why? Because Swarup Siddha Bhakti means according to what is the intrinsic nature of bhakti, which is Anupalyana Krishna Anushilanam Bhakti Ruttama. Uttama Bhakti is defined intrinsically that Swarup Bhakshan, the intrinsic characteristic of Bhakti, is that it is meant exclusively for the pleasure of Sri Krishna. So actually, we are praying to uh, taking shelter of Gurudev because why? Because he knows how to please Krishna, how to please Mahaprabhu, how to please Radha and Krishna. This is real bhajan. Real bhajan means like the six Goswamis are doing. He Radhe Prajadevi Ke Chilalite He Nanda Suno Kurtaha Sri Govardhana Kalpa Bhada Patale Kalindi Vande Kurtaha Gosham Thavati Sarvato Prajapuri Ke Dar Mahade Bolao Vande Rupa Sanatano Ragu Ragu Yuga Sri Jiva Gopalako They were in so much distress. They were going everywhere in Braj saying, Where is Krishna? Where is the son of Nanda Maharaj? Where is Sri Radha? Where are the gopis? Where is Lalita, Vishaka? Huh? They are going everywhere, Govardhan, Radha Kun, everywhere. And they are weeping day and night. Someone is saying that, oh, someone may be chanting three lives, like a Namacharya Srila Haridas Thakur. But who is higher? Oh, Srila Rupa Goswami, he may be chanting only one syllable, not even one name of Krishna. Ah, and he is falling unconscious. This is real bhajan. Oh, but we cannot touch this. We cannot even come close to this concept of bhajan. So, by taking shelter at the lotus feet of Sri Gurudev, he will engage us and he will give us some instruction that we should do these uh, activities. We should sing these bhajans. Why? So that we are praying uh, that the moods of our acharyas, they may come in our heart, that the moods of my Gurudev. Uh, who is my Gurudev? Oh, I am thinking of my Gurudev always. In what form? Oh, I am seeing my Gurudev coming before me like this, but actually he is serving Radha and Krishna, always giving pleasure to Radha and Krishna. And in this form, always I am praying that my Gurudev will somehow give me entrance into bhajan, because bhajan is the root of bhakti. Bhajan means bhajate, means how to worship properly. Hmm? Worship is not even appropriate English translation, but bhakti means devotional service doing everything for the pleasure of Sri Krishna. So, in this way, we can begin to come from the digital state, and we can begin to flow as, we, as Jamarani Dini was describing. Sravanam kirtana krishna smaranam bhada tevana larsanam vandanam dasyam sakya matma nirveganam itipum sarvita vishna bhaktis chen narvatutena lopshana kriyeta bhagavati adha dhanmanye dhitam uttamam so under the guidance of Sri Guru Dev, we are engaging in these processes of bhakti and directly offering our life energy, our everything, at the lotus feet of Sri Radha and Krishna. And in this way, our human life can become successful. Hare Krishna. What is the meaning of Guru Padasha? So, Bhajana Kriya means to take full shelter of the Lotus Feet of Bona Bhajana Kriya means to take full shelter of the Lotus Feet of Bona Fide Sadhguru and under the guidance of bona fide Sadhguru, engage in the new 64 limbs of devotion. So we should know very clearly what is Guru Pada Sraya. So, so the Guru, there is two types of Bhagawan. One is Visay Bhagawan, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Visay Bhagawan is the enjoyer. But there is another form of the Supreme Personality of Godhead in this world. This is called Asraya Bhagavan or the bona fide Mahabhagavan, Guru Padma Vaishnav. Asraya Bhagavan indicates he is the form of Bhagavan upon which the jiva should take shelter. Chakudan Dilajay Jangme Jangme Prabhu said. 
disciples should feel in his heart very deeply. I am an eternal servant of the spiritual master. I am his eternal servant. He is my eternal Lord. So we should examine ourselves very, very deeply. Have I reached the feet of Guru Parapadma? Krishna says, Nanad Bhaktas. Krishna says, one who calls himself my devotee, he is not my devotee. But one who calls himself a devotee of my devotee, he is my real disciple, he is my real servant. In Bhakti Rasami Sindhu, clearly it has been told, Guru Padasha and Diksha Siksha. Why it has divided in two sections? So you should try to, uh, what? Huh? So Guru Padasha, what is and what is Diksha Siksha? Padasha means to take Harina. I know that my life will be successful if I am in his guidance. All the day I will obey you. I will try to know your wishes and try to follow one wish. I don't know anyone, even not God, through you I am knowing that Krishna is supreme. Radhika is Radhani Shakti or all these things. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is combined of Srimati Radhika. I hear. But everything I can know only in your guidance by your uh, obeying words. So fully taking shelter. He will support he will nourish, he will save me from worldly, uh, what, no, chain of birth and death. So, Guru Dev's. So, I am going to take his shelter. This is called Guru Pagash. Then he will not look here and there. Don't disobey. You should choose a guru who is surely a fan of fight, who is in the line of his guru day. He is in the line of guru day. He is doing further in the guidance of his guru and guru parampara. Giving proper respect to all. I know what he desires. He is fully detached, knowing all the meanings, hidden meaning of all the shastra. Not knowing, even he is realized. Then in whole lifetime you cannot keep up him. But we see there are so many for not guru but thank all. Really they are not guru. When you were initiated first you never examined him. But later on you saw it. And you realized, oh, this guru cannot shame me. He cannot give any benefit to me. He cannot teach me, oh, Krishna Bhakti, because he helps himself not doing anything, not practicing. <laughs> oh, he cannot chant more than oh, six days, sometimes two. Sometimes three, sometimes <laughs> like this. No belief in his Guru Dev. And later on, oh, he gives up his the guidance of Guru and chanting everything. <laughs> to disciple, he may tell, oh, I am Guru, bona fide Guru. But really, he is not. When a person will realize that, oh, this Guru is not really Guru, bogus. Even he is not sincere. Then he should be doing pranam. And now try to take shelter in a bona fide guru. And if you are not doing, no bhakti. Only God. Krishna will not sprinkle his dash. <coughs> oh, so many things happen. Abhaisna mutkot girana utam. 
if he is not Guru, if he is not even a Vaishnava, and he will he hear him, serve him, that <coughs> like a cow who is not giving milk, and you want milk from that cow. You want a fruit from a fruitless tree like bubble and thorns. How it will come? So we should take shelter in a guru path. Who can give? Oh, oh Krishna consciousness. Really. And that person is what? Real Eshko. I know that Swami Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj has told Krishna Bhakti Rasabhavita Mati Kriyatam Kutapi Jati Lakrati Tattva Lol Jamapi Mullevi Kalam Janma Kuru Iskati. Who is this call member? Who has this quality? Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavita Bhav Parashi. All, they are all in that. And if a guru, a Vaishnava is found like that, oh, keep your head and hand. And take shelter. This is taking shelter. Like Raghunanda, he, your guru, who cannot help you, but sincere and Madhya Madhikari, oh, he cannot give you Krishna Krim. But if you pray him that, oh, please give me your permission, that I should mix, I should associate a high class of Vaishnava, like Jiva Goswami, who told and his guru, oh, I am very happy, very happy. Raghunath Das Goswami told you his guru, Dev Jadunanda Nachari. Oh, impressed him. Oh, advance your guru. In Jaitadam it has been written. What? They were told by his guru, they ordered him, sir. Oh, you should go to Gopal Guru. And he No less. Honor for his good day, like equal. They are equal in all respect. So this is called Guru Madash. And that, or after that, what is Diksha uh, and Shikshanam? What is that? Diksha. He has taken Arshay. He is chanting name. But his name is not very qualified. So Gurudev wants that I should give him uh, Diksha, Di Dip Divya, Cha, passing all kinds of offenses, unwanted things. Like we have heard that Kasha, Kasha means? Uh, you should tell loudly. What? Bell metal. Bell metal. Uh, oh. If it is given some Chemical. chemicals, it will be gold. So Gurudev gives this this medicine or this chemical to his sister. And then oh Dibhigyan comes. What is Dibhigyan? Krishna Tattva, Jiva Tattva, Maya Tattva, Bhakti Tattva, Radha Tattva, Offense Tattva, all there are so many things. He is expert and he is delivering to be teacher. And Max like him, Guru, never Max any disciple. Our Guru Dev are Prabhupada He has told, never a Guru, Max any disciple. I have not uh, met any disciple. He makes guru. His all disciples were what? <coughs> guru and they can. They could have whole world. You know that Lokanath Das Goswami. He made Raghunath Das Goswami guru, not disciple, not Tamtha. 
गोपाल भट्ट गोस्वामी और हिट डिड नॉट मेक हिम डिसाइकल एंड इन ऑफ आइट गुरु हिट टच लाइक इट टच ए स्टोन एंड बिकम स्कोर एंड ही नो ऑल काइंड ऑफ तत्व एंड इट की वर्क इंजेक्ट माने प्रेरणा करता है इंस्पायर दी डिसाइड टू नो ऑल दिस थिंग ये स्टडी आई टोल्ड गुरु देव टोल्ड ऑल वे आर एवरी थिंग्स टू कम इन यू एंड एट वंस लाइफ विल नॉट ओपन एंड देन सेकंड शा वी हैव सो मेनी अनर्स सो मेनी शामरानी और has explanation more life dikche dikche prati prasaya and after that all so many even so we want to discuss but we have not so much time but we will list plan here or better or and you should try to take all these things then cha diksha and then shikshan what is shikshan what shikshan oh very deep subject shikshan you know rup goswami and ragnath das goswami went in the lotus feet of chaitanya maha and he told i don't know all these things and he took his hand and gave in the hand up and then he became sarvarg and what he did oh made him like him. what we see rup goswami has given only story but ragnath das goswami has how in what proportion they should be mixed rup goswami had not told in mana shiksha in his all books in what proportion what can be given then it will be surasa surasa means surasa means like oh like ras in india we tell some sugar some water some kevada or lemon we mix and then it becomes very tasteful like a uh, now it is very lemon lemon it also coco nectar coca la all kind of things they don't know combination so Rukusam had to all rush up, and he had produced rush and he then rush. But how this rush will come? Oh, Rupna Das Goswami, and also Ji Goswami and other Goswami had. If you will give one kilo sugar and one glass of water only, and some oh uh, some salt. Then what we will be? But if it will be one kilo sugar, five kilo water, and one or two only lemon, and then it will be all fine and glossy. So Rav Nath Das Goswami has explained what and how and in what way. we can make me bhakti to bhakti rasa all the acharyas previous acharyas like oh ramanuja madhva vishnu swami nimbadita all they produced and taught bhakti pralad maharaj i told also bhakti all has uh, explained about bhakti but not bhakti rasa मनीषी चैतन्य महाप्रभु एंड ही सिर्फ एसोसिएट 
في روب وسامي عن قدر فيري اشبشل مانو ديست بورا يا فيري لكي تو كام ان ديس لاين اوف بورو فارم بارا فيري فيري لكي I feel very proud of coming in this line, and you should also. But not only uh, thinking and proud of being this, but fully, totally. Then it will be siksha. What he Raghunath Das Goswami learned from Rup Jibgas from him. Sarvam. What he learned. What he has told. गुरु गुरु गोष्टे गोष्टा ले सूर्य के लिए सूर्य को सूर्य के लिए स्वामंत्रे सी नामी प्रेतवदंत सर्दी सदा दंपम भी बात गुरु रति मापुर्वं अकितराम ऐ प्राता He had not told to anyone, but he had told to human being and to his heart. Oh, this is bhakti. Guru gives mantra, but he also he teaches that we should respect our Guru Dev and in same way Shiksha. Guru Dev can give Diksha. Sometimes he cannot give Shiksha because uh, a disciple. Uh, should honor him always, and he cannot tell so many things that should be told. We have so much honor for Guru Dev, as for you. So, Diksha Guru sometimes, oh, he cannot tell so many confidential, but Shikha Guru. Like a brother, like a bosom friend, or oh, keeping that disciple embracing, and he will tell so many things that in which we need many help. So this, this is Shikshanam. Like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, <coughs> he went to Vrindavan. And he was returning from Vrindavan, and when he came on three rivers, that is Prayag, or Rukhsar Vimet, and he knew from before him, he met Ram Kali Gram, and he has told that. You remember this fact that I am going to tell. So when Rupa Goswami met him, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told, "I want to tell you something. Inspire me. Bhakti is like a ocean. Bhakti is. I am. Oh, it is so deep, endless." Huh? Unlimited. But I am telling you, only one drop. Not only one drop, one sprinkle, atom of that bhakti I am telling. And it will, if you have, by this you can hold universe, you will conquer, and all will be flooded. And one cannot be saved. All will be sinking in that ocean of rush. They cannot come up. Always eh, taking and drinking the nectar. And then he, in prayer, he told, "Ado guru padashayam shikshanam tens," which is the root of bhakti. And then more ten, of which are not favorable. Unfavorable, and those who are not favorable and not, especially those the uns, those who are 
लाइक भावमयी भाव संबंधी भावानुकूल भाव विरुद्ध भाव अविरुद्ध ही टोल्ड एवरीथिंग आई थिंक दैट यू आर नॉट अंडरस्टैंडिंग आई वॉन्ट इट बट इट विल टेक टाइम सो ही टोल्ड यू एंड देन अदर अमाउंट सिक्सटी फोर्स भक्ति इज अनलिमिटेड नॉट ओनली लिम्स ऑफ भक्ति इज सिक्सटी फोर अनलिमिटेड रूट गोस्वामी हैज सेलेक्टेड एंड मेड इजी लाइक मेड ग्रामर इजी एंड दैट ही हैज मेड भक्ति इज एंड ही हैज सो प्लीज ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स द लिम्स ऑफ भक्ति एंड एज बी टोल्ड that essence of the whole uh, limbs of bhakti is 64 and the essence of 64 is 9 and essence of 9 is 5 very very powerful if the, anyone has no offense then touching only even sadhu san naam ke bhagavastra mathura va shri mukti sabha Only this will touch you, that this thing, and our brain will come. So, <clears throat> and after that, he told, like Rupakshami perhaps told, after that, Tanamaru Bacharita di. तदानुरागी जनानुगामी शुक्रचितानुक्रमेण रसना मनसी तदागी जनाखिल